up guys, this is Ryan Willis with the Knoxville News Sentinel out here today with Curtis Glover, local artist, local muralist. We're at Pine Gap Elementary, uh, working on the basketball court, a little prep work here. Um, we're gonna work out of here together and get started. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Pond Gap Elementary, they're the Panthers. Mm -hmm. So we have a big panther to start out with in the center there. So um, this is like my little mock-up for proportions and whatnot. And their school motto is ready, respectful, and responsible. So, and then your typical school school stuff like, you know, books, shapes, of, you know, geometry for math and all that. So yeah, so you, you can be pretty liberal with the uh, the paint here. Okay. Don't feel like you got to keep going on it. All right. See, now that you know how much you can put on the roller, right? You can just take that on there. Just go to town. So, oh, yeah, like that. So, yeah. Don't do that. It'll, it'll flick on you a little bit if you if you take and go too fast. But I just don't want to flick on the camera or flick really? outside the lines. I don't care about <laughs> yeah. me. Cares about the mural, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was always a kid in class, not paying attention, drawing comic book stuff, right. or you know. Don't let them know. Don't let them see me. Yeah, yeah don't, stay in school. Stay in school. Pay attention. Don't paint for a living. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but. Um, now I was always sketching stuff and, and uh, kind of had a, a, a wild imagination with that. And I think I took some like art classes over the summertime. Right. I think my parents thought I could draw a little bit. I was in between work and I got um, asked by just uh, by chance I was in the alleyway and a guy came through there that was uh, the marketing coordinator for uh, Visit Knoxville, or at least a sponsor, uh, Brent Thompson, and he. Uh, he asked me if I want to help paint a wall. And I was like, what wall are you talking about? And he pointed me towards the WDVX building. Mm. And he was like, that one. The biggest, the biggest. Right, the biggest the, one. The, big, the biggest one. Right. And that was, that was Bobby Cruz's project. So I just jumped on it as like a helper. But then now in the last five years, a little bit less over the last five years, you've just seen a surge of urban art, street art, graffiti, mm -hmm. murals. I mean, all different people of all different backgrounds just throwing up just really colorful pieces. And, right. And it gives the it gives the communities in different parts of town and the whole city an identity. 